Hello and welcome to ProTrader Strategies Market Commentary. My name is Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal, where I've commented on everything from economic to geopolitical market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these daily market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your own portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios. And therefore, what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. Just a little bit of economic data today in the form of over across the pond in Europe, we got final uh, French CPI came in at 0.1% versus the expected 0.2%. Uh, we also got Japanese uh, revised industrial production numbers, came in at negative 2.6, was expected at negative 2.2. Uh, we also got here, uh, or sorry, across the pond, uh, the industrial production number came in at negative 1.2%, was expected a negative 0.8%, so the industrial production number is not looking so good across the way. And uh, import price index here in the United States came in at 0.2%, expected 0.6%, so prices coming off a little bit. Then we also got the uh, crude oil inventories coming out, and the crude oil inventories uh, was expected to be a bit of a build after the API numbers came in and showed basically a build everywhere except for uh, Cushing. And here we got the crude oil inventories that was negative, uh, a drawdown of 2.5 million barrels versus the expected 2.3 million barrels. Uh, so that really caused oil to come off, uh, you know, quite a bit because there was um, the, the builds in... Uh, gasoline inventories and uh, other inventories were uh, outweighing the drawdown in the crude oil inventories. I think that people were expecting a little bit more out of the 4th of July uh, weekend uh, driving and stuff like that and have a big drawdown on overall inventories across the board. But because that gasoline inventory build, I'm guessing that's the reason why uh, crude oil is really starting to come off. As you can see, down $1.86 almost giving up all of yesterday's gains. Uh, then on to the uh, gold trade. The uh, stocks are looking a little bit weak here. Uh, it looks like some people are starting to really st take some profits, not only in the equities, uh, but um, also in, say, crude oil and a couple of other uh, indices out there. So uh, as you can see here, gold is benefiting from that up over $8, almost $9 on the day. That's forward slash GC. Uh, on to the bonds. Bonds kind of rallying back, taking back half of yesterday's gain. See, everything's starting to set up to make it look like um, the equities are gonna come off a little bit, I think. Uh, but this could just be uh, profit taking on the short side from the bonds as well, and just a bit of a pullback after yesterday's big sell off, up a point on the day. Forward slash ZB is the ticker symbol there. On to the NASDAQ and the equities. NASDAQ, again, forward slash NQ, testing the uh, value area high today, but giving it up. If I start, when you start looking at all of the, the uh, stocks uh, along the board, a lot of them are looking like a topping pattern going on. As you can see, we got a bit of a tweezer top here and that coincides with the value area high. Uh, I could easily see this starting to retrace down. I've been talking about it wanting to fill in this area, and that's um, looking like it could very well do that. So in that regard, I've been trying to get out of some of those long deltas that I have in my portfolio and getting short deltas. Uh, if I get out of my Twitter sometime today, uh, I will be officially short deltas. All right, so um, on to the E-mini S&Ps. Of course, I haven't readjusted this uh, Fibonacci level, but E-mini S&Ps looking like they're getting strung out a little bit. And, you know, we got this doji right here that's, uh, you know, at the top of the pattern. Looks like it could easily want to come back down into the value area, which would kind of go along with that NASDAQ filling in that um, trough, if you will, on the market profile. So that's the E-mini S&Ps. On to the E-mini S&Ps forward slash ES ticker symbol 
on the 15 minute breakdown. As you can see, basically uh, from the open, the market overall just has slid with the bad economic data overnight and this morning here in the US. Uh, the overall market's just kind of slumping, going into negative territory uh, by a smidge, two and a half points or two, just over two points right now. On to the couple of things that I've done. Schlumberger, I had on a, um, a uh, call diagonal in here. I had on the August, July, and I had, was long the 67 and a half calls and short the 80 calls. Looked a little bit better yesterday, and I've spent the better part of the morning trying to chase this thing down. It was pretty nice uh, yesterday and early this morning, but you know, ended up chasing it. As the market just sold off, there was never really much of an uptick in this until uh, most recently. And I had uh, originally paid $8.96 for that, got out of it for uh, $11.11. So uh, that was a nice little profit there. And a got out at my favorite number, 11.11, just because that's the only time of day where all the numbers are the same. We used to all cheer on the floor for that. And at uh, 12.34, which was one, two, three, four. So uh, anyway, on to Adobe. Uh, Adobe, you know, these next couple, you guys, I uh, am feeling like I, I'm uh, kissing my sister or something, I don't know, with these because I'm not a whole lot to do out there with high implied volatility, but I need to get short some deltas in my portfolio. I just feel like everything is uh, is long and topping out. So I just needed to add some short deltas. I've been talking about that for a couple of days. Nothing in the high IV to uh, allow me to really just sell calls against it because everything's, we're really right back around into that earnings season. And these few didn't have earnings, but they have super low implied volatility, as you can see down here. So in Adobe, I just went out there and bought the August 95 puts for uh, $1.28. The reason why is because, you know, we're, we're above this value area high. Uh, the market is starting to, you know, lose a little steam here. So I think it might just easily come back down into uh, the point of control, which would be slightly below where my 95 puts are. Um, so that would make them go into the money, which is kind of what I want there for that. On to Lulu. Lulu has had a big run, despite the fact that their ex-CEO, uh, or the ex-founder, I should say, has been harping at the board about uh, them not doing things right, and uh, the market has just really blasted off and outpaced Nike uh, and like Under Armour. And so in that regard, I just decided to get short some of this. Plus, you know, as you can see, it's made just a historical high. So there might be some profit taking going on in there. So in um, Lululemon, I went out there, which is ticker symbol LULU, went out there and bought the August 70 puts for 62 cent debit. And again, I'm doing these kind of small just because I hate paying for options. It seems like a waste of money, but I, like I said, I need to get to short those deltas. So it might backs against the wall on that one. And a deer to get some short deltas. Again, super low implied volatility. So what do we do? I just went in there and bought some uh, puts again, uh, right there at the point of control. It's gone up, tested the value area high. I think it, you can see, easily see it want to come back down here. So I went in and bought the August 80 puts for $1.57. Uh, that's about all I've done for the d today. Friday's webinar, we're going to be doing it on call Christmas trees. Uh, I was a favorite on the floor and not a lot of people talk about that online anymore. Uh, there's a lot of legs to this strategy, uh, but at the end of the day, it is still a pretty good strategy and something that everybody should know about um, just for when the uh, occasion arises that it can be implemented into a portfolio nicely. So we're going to go over all the details and the rules of how to do a call Christmas tree on Friday. So you can go to ProTraderStrategies.com, sign up for that. Should be a really good one. We've had a, a lot of great participation in those and a lot of great feedback from you guys. So thank you all for that positive feedback. I appreciate it. And that's all I got for you today. Other than if you can't take that, take it easy.